Hey, what's up buddies? How you doing? This is your boy PK guys. Welcome to the channel PK Tech Tips guys. Today we will be talking about the one and only upcoming iPhone 11 guys. So the iPhone 10 was a great phone, quite unbelievable phone that was released in 2017 by Apple. The sales of the iPhone 10 were pretty good too. But it was until the release of the iPhone 10s and the 10s Max where Apple started to be shaking on their feet a little bit. The sales for the iPhone 10 and 10s Max was pretty less as compared to the 10. The 10 cost $1,000 while the 10s and the 10s Max not being much different from the 10 cost around $1,400 and provided to that they also didn't include the wired headphone in the box. So this year 2019 Apple 11 the company Apple must be careful about what they put into the box and what price they set about. So starting off with the Apple iPhone 11 guys, it will have a similar glass body design like the previous 10, 10s, 10s Max and 10R. It will be available in black, white, rose gold and also rumored to be available in blue and orange color too. The best part about the Apple phone, that is the Apple 11, is going to be the three rear cameras at the back. All of the three cameras have been improved and they will be having three lens each this time uh, in the previous generation the camera ha had two lenses but this time they have three lenses so that the photo quality the video quality will be improved significantly each camera would be 14 megapixel with f2.4 aperture I mean the first two cameras and the third camera would be a wide angle lens camera that is a 12 megapixel one so that you can take wide angled photo which is pretty cool step taken by Apple. The front camera is going to be a 10 megapixel camera which can shoot easily 1080p videos at 60 frames per second and 720p videos also at 120 frames per second. Talking of the front display, the sensor and the front camera placement. Apple has got the technology to put all the sensor and the camera below the screen, but will they do it? Well, there's no answer to it. Uh, people haven't found it yet, neither have Apple, Apple shown any kind of response to that question, you know. So it's very much like unroomed stuff, very much unknown stuff which we are yet to know about. So what do you think? Will Apple put that technology into their new iPhone 11, just a full bezel-less notch less display totally do you think that if you think let me know down below in the comment section guys so this room that is going to give us a totally bezel less seamless notch less display but it is yet to be confirmed yet but i've gone through a lot of articles about this stuff guys and what i have come into is you can see a currently a design on my display apple is going to come out with something like this because i don't think apple will be going for a total bezel less display because they have their sales already down and they don't have time to implement a total bezel less notchless display, test it up and put it into the market. And even if they put it into the market, they will have a worry about something going wrong like in the previous 10s, the charging problem. They don't want anything to go wrong so they will play secure this time, safe this time because if they don't, their sales going to be pretty low and it hit hard to the company, you know. They'll also have some improvement in the face ID unlock guys. Previously, the face ID used the light around you to recognize your face, but this time the technology will be upgraded in such a way that you can even unlock your face simply, cleanly, without any light in a dark room. No lights, nothing in full dark room. You're going to be easily able to open your face, guys. Getting to the inside part, guys, of course, you know it, Apple Bionic A13 chipset. A11 was crazy fast and it will be really cool to know how fast A13 can be. It will be blowing our mind for sure. It's going to have a 4 gigabit of RAM which is good for gameplay and everything on an Apple phone because a 10 gigabit RAM on an Android phone is equal to 4 gigabit of RAM on an Apple phone. We have seen 3 gigabit X is going awesome. So 4 gigabit 11 is going to go boom boom. Really really cool guys. The battery is going to be 3100 milliamp power. Not sure about that. I'm kind of confused between 3100 or 3500 like I've seen difference in the news that I've seen so kind of not sure about that but definitely something between 3000 to 3500 milliamp power guys which is pretty cool. Talking of the prices guys as I told Apple's gonna play safe this time simply $999 starting price guys because they won't be ever ever pushing up to $1400 because they know their sales of 10s and 10s max were extremely poor almost equal to 0% improvement guys so that was the video guys 
If you like this video, make sure to go down, hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button and stay tuned guys. With that, I sign out. Your boy, PK. Peace. Oh, I don't wanna be alone.